all year long. The story has been how much bigger, how much crazier is the hobby going to get? How much are, how high are we going to, you know, instead of how low can you go, how high can we go with this mm -hmm. hobby? And we definitely reached heights over the last week that I think a lot of people, you know, I'm still coming into this as uh, someone who was into the hobby as a kid and coming back into it. And I'm sure you guys, you know, you guys have been in this for years. I don't think anybody could have imagined where it's gone, uh, especially even in the last week, specifically starting with the Giannis Adenakumpo Black Mosaic one of one rookie card that just went it was purchased at auction last week for $1.1 million. This is his rookie card. That's his rookie card. From uh, which Golden product? Auctions. Prism? Yep, Prism. Okay. Yep. Uh, Black Mosaic Prism. Wow. Uh, went uh, Holy grow. 9.5 BGS. Uh, went for $1.1 million. But that's not all. Uh, we had big modern sales for Zion. Uh, Zion, what, what, let's see, which one was that? That would have been a... Prism Gold, that went for $118,261. Luis Robert, <laughs> his uh, one of one 2018 First Bowman Super Fractor went for $92,756. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, a Topps Chrome, for, I believe, yeah, Topps Chrome from his first year, the highest price ever for a first year Kobe, $137,760. And the biggest sale of all, Wayne Gretzky rookie card sold for $1.29 million. Previous record for a Wayne Gretzky rookie was $465,000. Wow. This is just remarkable how much money is just <laughs> flying around in the hobby right now. Let's start with that Giannis card. First of all, there was already a Giannis record-breaking card earlier in the year. Now we have one, a non-auto by the way, it is one of one. Obviously, it's a huge card. Um, just, yeah, your guys' thoughts on um, uh, where do we go from here? I think we're always <clears> asking <throat> it, but really, where do we go from here after sales like this? I mean, boy, in terms of Prism cards, that I mean, that that card, if it's the base version, it's, it's bigger than the than the Prism Auto that you could probably right. get out of that set. So, huge card, a crazy amount. Um, at this point, in terms of Giannis... You know, he is at the age like Jordan at the same age hasn't hadn't won a championship yet. So we, we still give we're still giving Giannis time. True. Um, but, you know, and I'm sure we're going to start to talk about it soon. But with that huge contract now, he, obviously, he's going to be with that organization for, for a, a while longer. I mean, he could force a trade. But then again, who's going to want to take on that contract at the same time? Right. You got to think about that as well. Um, yeah. In terms of his cars, bro. That 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 that's amazing. One one point what? One point one million. Wow. Yeah, $1.1 million is what it went for. Uh, most ever paid for an unsigned modern era trading card. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, I think out there we have these canvas, and it has, like, all of our polls that we've had over Biggest the last polls. decade, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure there is a one-of-one one black parallel 1314 select rookie Giannis patch auto. rookie patch auto. Beautiful card, too. And we pulled it. Full signature. I got to assume it's got to be worth at least... I mean, we don't have it. I mean, I don't, we, it, was, it was a pull. Right? But, <laughs> um, it's going to be in that gotta ballpark. Got to be worth a half a million, right? Yeah, at it's least. in that ballpark. At least. Dude. I feel like we're just making up numbers at this point. <laughs> and, and especially, uh, since we're on the top, especially about the Lou Bob, man. Are you guys crazy? 92K. 90 talk about it dan talk about the luis robert give you 30 <laughs> <laughs> you know when we did an episode about what a month ago yeah. where we first brought it up uh we did a contest we already uh, picked a winner for that congratulations i think the winning bid tech wit bid quote unquote uh was seventy three thousand. so it's still a good 20k off and every the average one average guess was something around the like what you're saying dan 25 to thirty five thousand for that smart people out there <laughs> damn what did i say do you do you remember cody what did i say you, you said more than me 50 yeah i think about 50 i might have said 50 yeah, yeah. 50? yeah it's a is a luis robert one of one super fractor what uh what i'm trying to do the quick math in my head is that justifiably about 30 35 000 less than a zion i guess 
I don't know. You guys to tell me. They From the Zion Gold, though. Right. Zion Gold. Zion Gold. Yeah. I mean, big difference between. I should a, say, is it, does it feel like that gap should be larger, I guess, that the Zion should be more than that? Which, I guess in my mind, how much it feels was, how like much, that. How much was the Zion? Zion was 118, 118. Uh, 118,261. Might be a pretty good deal. Uh, yeah. The Zion, pro- <laughs> the Zion to me feels like a the, good deal. The, the, yeah. Was the Zion undervalued yeah that's exactly that's what i'm saying exactly <laughs> and then the louis bobby be, knowing because baseball collectors aren't really like that i you know the, I, well i mean lou bob good good player he he, he yeah. hit 230 and he could be a great player he but. hit 230 let's not forget that 230 is not great not going to get you into the hall of fame not a lot of hitters in the hall of fame who have a career average of 230 i would venture to guess none yeah i <laughs> didn't win the rookie of the year in fact didn't, didn't, even, get a, the didn't year. even get a first place vote yeah i yeah. 90k 90k i i have a feeling somebody just like i got 90k burning a hole in my pocket i need to get rid of it <laughs> Lou Bob, it is you know also people will say this you know about zion like the the the, the, the main thing people i've seen online too is that oh uh, you know the kids only played 20 games or yeah. so so yeah. you know I mean, we'll see. We'll see this this, this upcoming year. But Zion or Louis Bob? Who's gonna have the first, second first second season? Out, interesting to see him. Zion looked amazing. He's yeah, he in, does. He's in great shape. He no minute restrictions. I mean, that I, I think this. I and man, Zion Unleashed I, is a scary dude. I think based on what we saw with Luca cards, get the ready. Sky is a limit. Second get ready, Zion. Yeah, absolutely. Get ready. Absolutely. I and I. I can't believe I'm saying that because all year I was like, his prices are too high. He's not. But you're right, dude. He played 20 games. Yeah. And we were basing all that, all the, all those prices based on 20 games. Now we're getting into the, this is going to be it. We're going to see what Zion can do. He understands the offense. He He's healthy. He has Lonzo. He has Ingram. Like a better they're, they're Ingram, all, a better they're, Lonzo. They're all yeah. healthy. Like they could be, they could be good. Yeah. And if they make a run and he's putting up 20 and 10 every game, he might be putting 30 30 10 again. His his cards are going to go they're going to be at Luka's level no, sooner. No. Cuz Luka was averaging a triple double his second year. Mm-hmm. Like easy, like an easy triple double. Um he made Luka made it look so effortless last year, so uh Luka I think hands down odds to win uh, MVP this year. Uh, ba- based on ba- based on Vegas odds, I think I think it's actually something. It's like so Vegas got him probably like, winning. It's like plus one seventy five on the money line for him winning uh, MVP. And Curry, for reference, is uh, plus eight fifty. Hmm. Same as LeBron. I think it goes. Uh, I don't. I I looked at it earlier. I think it's Luca. Dame Dame Lillard's definitely up there. Yeah. Yeah, Portland improved a lot. What what what's that? What 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 was um uh, what was Trout's stats his rookie year? Uh, he, his, he was rookie of the year. Yeah, okay, so he was second the year. in MVP voting. Okay, like he yeah. he had his the first time he was called up. Not a good not a good start. He had a, yeah. he had a tough tough September call up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He so, did. But yeah. It, so his his percentage rookie. was probably below two thirty then. Oh yeah, much far below. Yeah. I okay, mean, there, we, I remember when it was. When that, we, we don't 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 <laughs> far below. Don't 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 compare <laughs> Mike Trout to to Luis. I Robert. think that's that's all it says. Any there were a lot of comparisons being thrown Luis Roberts' way. Uh, I think I even heard people saying he is the Cuban Mike Trout. Like oh. this guy is the real deal. Just look, at the stat. <laughs> Just look at the stat lines. I know 60 games, it's different. It's totally different. Yeah. Maybe that's more fair. Look at their first 60 games, which, well, okay, now I'm, now I'm literally I'm talking and I'm arguing with myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you know what, actually, when you do look at the 60-game average, maybe it isn't as crazy as I thought. I don't know. There's a lot of time to grow. Uh, th- the other thing, too, before we move on to the NBA, uh, it feels like there is this feeling of everybody – Every time we hear another one of these stories, we hear somebody who's got a great card clearly is reading and saying, well, I'm going to one-up that person. It's been a lot of one-upping, and uh, just it just never ends, it feels like. Um, I guess I was going to try to throw like an over-under uh, of maybe in the next year. Okay. What, what was What's the highest card we saw sell this year? Did anything go over two mil this year? I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, the I think I think it was the N, it was the NT RPA to be honest, right? 
I believe so. Well, yeah, and, and one point eight or something like yeah. that. Yeah, and okay. LeBron so was we, close to two, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. And what, yeah. The, and the, what did the trout go for? The trout went for the trout. I thought it went that was for, a crazy number. Yeah, I don't, was that like four? I yeah, yeah, it was four. I don't. I don't. All Multi- right, so multiple under, M's under, throwing, throwing crazy. Yeah. Multiple yeah. M's over, over under. Are we in twenty twenty one going to see a five million dollar card? Over. <laughs> Dude, this run ain't this run ain't stopping yet. Five million dollar card, one uh, card, one not, card. not a lot. No, no, like no. Just a, I'm talking one card because if that trout can go for, <laughs> and I do remember it was about four million. If that could go for four, are we gonna see five? And I just feel like it's a matter of time till we see five. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I I want it. I want to be that guy. I want to yeah. say no. We've hit the peak. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. Every, it's every time it nah. feels like we've hit it. It's, no. I mean, we're, it no. It's still going up. I'll tell you this, Cody. Like um, That peak that people talk about like every year that I've been back in the hobby, that's what people have been saying every yep. single year. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> for the last six years. Get ready exactly. for the crash. I, dude, I... I think you've heard it from me at least. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 150 times. But from from like you know like from uh, just the interwebs like the people have been saying that forever. You know, yeah. people have probably been saying that since the 90s. I think I think you're starting to get like big like big banks like investors like like I think you're yeah. starting to get that where sports cards as a tangible object is becoming parts of portfolios. Oh, 100%. I so mean, you're I think, seeing the types of guys who are buying them, yeah, too. It's it, those types of guys, you know, who want to, you know, diversify their, their portfolio. I love that. love that word. Yeah. Diversify. Yeah. Diversify your Diversify. Have diversify. a Jordan rookie in there. You better have a Jordan rookie in there. That's right. That's you right. better have a Sean Mannion in there. <laughs> That's right. I mean, you know what? We talked all these modern cards, but I got the slide up right now. You say diversify, but look, two cards that are now well, one that's, you know, over 40 years old. And a card that is going on almost 30, 25 years old. So it's not just all about the modern cards. So, you know, <clears> you just get, get into those classic cards. Start digging yeah. into those shoe boxes. And, you know, your Cla- classic is vintage is the uh, is been actually has been having the last few months. But vintage is like that. The next wave. Yeah. Um, obviously, modern cards are never going to go away. People are going to want the new hotness. People are always going to speculate, speculate about the new hype. But vintage is where you find that the production is much lower than well, whatever modern and, and, cards and, and are. And with, with grading, it makes it even more limited. Yeah. Um, I mean, especially with the vintage stuff. That's um, the next wave, bro, vintage. I also think that, like, from an investment standpoint, the vintage is probably the safest way to go. Yeah. Uh, there is not – there's nothing that – Wayne Gretzky could do on the ice right now that is going to affect his value. 100%. Yeah. Uh, there's nothing that any of the players... Michael who, Jordan. Michael Jordan can't really do anything that is going to affect, but you have Luka and Zion and Trey Young and... And Bobo. Bobo and THT. Um, <laughs> Who's coming you got, up? You got those guys where they can have a bad year. Luka can have... A mediocre three years have a bad team around him doesn't have great stats maybe gets injured a little bit yeah it, it's not going to look like a good investment if you're like i bought this card for eight hundred thousand dollars and he is on his fourth team now and he's just bouncing around trying to trying to stay in the league mm-hmm. not saying that's going to happen right but, it could though but you never do. but with a lebron james card or a kobe bryant card or a magic johnson rookie yeah. or you know Wayne Gretzky, any of these players, like your investment is safe. Yeah, hundred percent. It's not going to go up. You're not going to have that roller coaster ride that you could have with somebody where you buy a, a player where you buy his card at five hundred dollars, and then in one year it goes up to five grand. Okay. But the vintage is definitely going to be a safer long play. Mm-hmm. No doubt. 